Okay, so if you're OJ and you didn't do it and your wife got murdered in your front lawn and then you write a book later called If I Did It, Confessions of the Killer. I think it's basically... <laughs> yeah. You're kind of basically yeah. like... Did you guys hear about what happened to O.J. Simpson? He died. Yeah. He got away with it. He got away, he with, got it. away with it. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. No. What? Yeah, he passed away. He, no, he he had his search for the real killers cut short. That's how we say it. Uh, yeah. Just a little early. Yeah. End of watch. The juice. Yeah, watch. Wait, what do y'all what do y'all think? Y'all think he did it? Probably. Mm, I don't know. I was watching the documentary on Netflix a little bit. You, have you seen the documentary on, on uh -huh. OJ? He's a really good football player. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you watching? What do you mean? Did you know that? That's like the fucking most known thing. I oh, know never mind. Naked yeah. Gun is the most known thing. <laughs> but when you watch him play football, you're like, oh my god, this is like. Oh, he was, uh, he was like insanely good. He was oh, you like saw amazing. like the highlight. Tests. Yeah, dude. He he, got, he was the first guy to get two thousand yards rushing. He's doing like yeah. ninety yard fucking returns. Yeah, he's bro. amazing. Oh, yeah. He was going off. So I think set him free, dude. It was the right the right call, I think. My dad, I remember when uh, OJ was in the Bronco, <laughs> and he's. Like, we were living in Virginia at the time, and I remember listening to it on the radio. They're like, OJ Simpson's in the Bronco and all this shit. And my dad was like, he described to me years later, he's like, that's like hearing that Peyton Manning, like, just killed his wife and, like, yeah. is, like, in a car heading somewhere. When people can equate oh, to you, like, yeah. in today's sports hero, yeah. it is fucking heavy, yeah. Steve was like, oh, it's a white guy. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, like how famous he is, how yeah. he's in every he's commercial, talented, yeah. like, movies. he's in movies. movies yeah. he's, like, yeah. he's, like, lovable. Like that's Yeah, yeah, and every, exactly, everyone yeah. loves he's him. He's not the bad boy of sports. That's no, true. and, like, and like, if you watched him, he was funny. Like, yeah. if you saw him um, in The Naked Gun. Mm -hmm. Oh, he yeah. killed it. He was fucking He killed it in The Naked Gun. Right. That scene where he's just continuously getting killed by things uh -huh. and getting hurt by things. Oh my god! You guys that was like physical comedy. You guys ever see that clip of um, I think on like TMZ? They're asking OJ Simpson. They're like, "Can you tell us about Caitlyn Jenner?" And he's like, "He's like, I don't know Caitlyn Jenner, but I know Bruce Jenner." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, "I ain't seen Bruce in a long time, <laughs> but I know Bruce." It makes sense though because like if you got away with this, no shit, you don't give a fuck what happens now. Like. <laughs> And if you're OJ and you go to restaurants and get spit on and shit, yeah. like <laughs> you don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> and he was still making yeah. money because of his pension from a. Uh, oh. Is that what it is? Yeah, NFL pension. Was he good? And, no. his, and his book sales. Was he? Like oh, his book shit. sales were killing it. No, well, he he that, pay book that out. never came out. Oh, it never came out. Never came out. If I did it. <laughs> If I did it. Oh, that that was what it was called? Yep. No, it was. <laughs> if I did it. I thought that was a meme. I didn't know it was a real book. No. So Damn, what a he, book. He wrote it. Yeah. Then it was about to come out, and then everyone started raising a bunch of stink about it. Blocked, huh? It got blocked, yeah. The publisher, the publisher pulled it. Yeah. So we've all seen the cover, although you, I guess you, <laughs> you, haven't, like you didn't know yeah. about that? No, I didn't know. Yeah, I thought it came out. Yeah, it's called. I thought the family released it so they can get money for it. Maybe. Oh, interesting. That's what I heard. I heard that's that's what they did. But yeah. you guys all think he fucking did it, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I, apparently. <laughs> no. I, yeah, you're right. I could buy. Do it I right look now. like I think he did it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the book the book did come yeah. out. So they they took the profits and they they gave it to the family. I think that of the victims. Oh, you're right, because they they set it up with an introduction for the paperback by the Goldman family. So like, hey, they basically probably guilt trip you <laughs> for reading this. <laughs> Oh, it's like, like a fucking cigarette pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I show you pictures of the of the crime first. It doesn't say by O.J. Simpson, though. It says author Dominic Dunn and Pablo Fenviz. It doesn't say, like... Maybe that's not the one, then. That's, I yeah. think it is. Weird. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't say O.J. I at all. Thought, yeah, I always thought... Maybe, he, you know what it is? He did the audiobook. That's what it is. He did the voice. <laughs> he did the Garmin. <laughs> yeah, he didn't do the, he didn't do the writing. It says it's by O.J. Simpson and this guy Pablo Fenjevis, but I guess they took okay. his credit off of Amazon. Yeah. How oh, weird. Yeah, it's weird. R.I.P. Oh. dude. Do you think he did it, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you, I, just a couple- White people always think that, though. No, 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 here, here's why. <laughs> <laughs> As a kid, I was rooting for him, and when he got the not, the not guilty verdict, I was like, fuck yeah. Because I liked O.J. Simpson just because I, I had seen him in commercials yeah. and shit. Yeah. But the time it changed for me when he he was doing this interview with like some reporter lady oh and he surprises her by going oh. like oh, ee, ee, ee. Oh, and i was like oh this motherfucker did it <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Right? Because if you didn't do it, you wouldn't make that kind of you joke. You wouldn't make that bit? Because yeah. if your wife got murdered yeah, your in your house. Fucking yeah. murdered, yeah. Or like outside of your the house. The last thing you're doing is making that joke. Ever. That's right? true. That to me flipped it for me. That's when I was like, what? maybe he fucking did. Plus, I, did, I just did, at the time, I also was like, I just didn't want the man to win. Because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it really was. Like if you were alive that. during the OJ trial, it wasn't OJ did it or not. It was like it felt like they were setting him up. It was like fuck the so system. Also, it like that. Plus, like, Mark that was, Furman sucks, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy was like a ra there's a racist cop involved. Yeah. Also, like right before that was the mm -hmm. Rodney King yeah uh, beating. Yeah. So oh, it was okay. like, yeah, and that was, was fucking crazy. Yep. You know? So OJ's like, this is good timing. Yeah. Well, and the cops definitely planted evidence, right? Mm -hmm. So they definitely like. What do you mean? Oh, wild. like the like Mark Furman and those and the other cops, they definitely did some chicanery at the yeah, crime they, scene. They were trying to do that cop thing where like, I know you did it, I can't so prove it, so I'm gonna make sure somehow I plant shit that works. Yeah, out. They were yeah. like moving evidence around yeah. and to make it look more him more culpable. Is that the glove? The glove was part of it. Is that part? I don't of know if that's specifically they tampered with the gloves or anything. Yeah. Cause that was a big moment, dude. That was a huge moment. Yeah. You see him putting the gloves in fit, and you're like, oh. <laughs> he's you just like, quit. <laughs> <laughs> I love the acting that goes into oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, good acting. He was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they found the fucking receipt. Wait, what do you mean? What for those part? gloves? Wasn't that a thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. That they were like looking through the garage and they found the receipt for those exact gloves? Like, in like a black bag or something crazy, like that. I remember yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. I just remember coming home from school, trying to watch cartoons, and there's fucking three hours of this fucking court case. I'm like, son oh, yeah. of a fucking bitch! Bro, the, the Knicks and <laughs> uh, who was in the, they stopped the uh, championship for that. Oh, did they really? Yeah, like during wow. the live coverage of him like, in the fucking wow. Rocco oh. cruising. Yeah, that was crazy too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was such a big profile case. So then my other thing too is like, if you're, okay, so if you're OJ and you didn't do it and your wife got murdered in your front lawn and then you write a book later called If I Did It, Confessions of the Killer, I think it's basically, <laughs> yeah. you're kind of basically yeah. like <laughs> winking with both eyes maybe. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mm. that's what you think. Uh, wait, was he financially like, uh, like okay? Yeah, he I was. think he's always been okay. I don't think. So. I don't think. Because so. remember when he was getting all of his like his uh, memorabilia. He has getting his memorabilia. Seat. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, the pension yeah. was oh, paying. He, so, like he was still making money off his pension. But the civil case mm. that he lost. He never paid much out of it. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying, right? Wait, did he? No, he didn't pay much of it out. So, because he owed the Goldmans. And yeah. Wow, and he never paid it? But I think that's where the book deal came in. I guess his net worth was $3 million at the time of his death. You never know, though, because they always say that shit. Like, they say you're worth $18 million. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> that's true. At the yeah, time of my real. life. You don't know what people's bills are, too. Nah, he yeah. could be making hella money, but also, like, oh, a lot of shit. I remember too. he went to jail for a little bit, right? Because he, he tried to for steal back the memorabilia. He tried to steal back his shit. But yeah. then the judge, like, run. the judge <laughs> really fucked him over there because they gave him, like, a, a crazy sentence compared to what he had done. Oh, shit. The judge was basically, I don't know if you guys watched this documentary about it, but the judge was hated him so much for, like, the, the Nicole stuff that they, like, applied like ridiculous charges in this case, which usually they don't apply oh, that much normally they, to. Yeah. That's yeah. called justice. Yeah, exactly. It's like totally bullshit. Like I say, you just don't want him to keep getting away with shit. But it's such, such yeah. bullshit, you can't. You're not supposed to do that, yeah. right, yeah. Is that double jeopardy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Is it? Obviously. That's double jeopardy. Thank you. Yeah. What a fucking life, what a story. I just wish that he said oh, something right gosh. before dying. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I just I wish he was like, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, we know. I just wish there was something in there, like a hit. He's looking message. down right now. He's like, he's like, I wrote a book that said I did it. Yeah, like, what do you want from me, Ryan? Crazy. That murder scene looks so and then personal. You see, like, yeah. what, like the way, like the, the fucking knife and all that. It's like, oh, bro, the crime scene's nuts. Scene, yeah. It looks so we fucking personal. Scene. Right? Looks like that's, that's personal. That ain't how robberies usually well, look. Crime scenes. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Okay, so check this out. Another little thing that came out. Um, after, right, there was a, a woman who signed an NDA years ago, like many, many years ago, way before Nicole died, right? Mm -hmm. And basically, she says that she had to sign this NDA because she was um, working at a law firm, and one day, Robert Shapiro and Mr. Kardashian came, came in, and she saw them come in, and she was like, oh, I know who those guys are, and apparently they were there in order to get 
um, what do you call it when you you sign something that says like you can't talk about it? Like NDA. 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 Oh, yeah. Because a woman had been paid off who had been dating OJ and he beat her up really bad. So like, oh. and this is like, like I said before he even married Nicole Brown Simpson. Oh. So he had like a history of being in relationships with with women and beating on them. Yeah. White women. Apparently. Yeah. I don't know if this person was white. But so then <laughs> she so then when OJ, guess, yeah. so then when OJ <laughs> murders Nicole, she's like, holy fuck, like I like there was a signs that he was like this. Like previously, but I mean, they always have to be, right? Yeah, and now that he's dead, she could talk about the oh. NDA. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So she came out oh. on Twitter about it. Yeah. Oh shit! Whoa, yeah. that's pretty heavy, right? Wow. And she just she said that it was heavy on her because she knew for years that he was like that. Yeah, but she couldn't violate. Oh, did she say what the? They, she didn't say what the payout was, huh? Mm -mm. Damn, that must have been a nice payout. For sure. Because if you're really willing to like not speak for that long, mm -hmm. you got paid. You must have got paid pretty. Got paid. It must have been worth the yeah. Right. Yeah. Holy shit. But also like her saying that, that still doesn't solve the crime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, but for it's sure. yeah, it's yeah, one of those yeah, things yeah. where if you're if you're a Catholic guilty fuck fucking person like I am, you think like I could have fucking done something. To stop that shit. Right? Oh right, oh, like in the yeah yeah in the realm of life itself, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, you, yeah, your yeah, purpose yeah, yeah. could have been greater. Yeah yeah, yeah. got it. Ooh, yeah. that Yikes. sucks. Dark. Damn. Oh. So she yeah. took the money. Yeah. Well, she had to sign the NDA because she worked at this law firm. So her boss walks her outside and is like, "Hey, you saw those two people you weren't supposed to see. This is a this is a case about this thing going on. I need you to sign an NDA." So she did. Because of that, to, like, just keep her job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That client confidentiality mm -hmm. clause thing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But also, also, she couldn't have known that he would fucking or that yeah, that kind of no. Yeah, yeah, anybody yeah. would have done yeah. that. Like that, that's that's yeah. a rational thing. To do. I think it's right. kind of her fault, really. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's what a lot of people are saying now. <laughs> are they really? No, no. no. Oh, yeah. like, they're Just me retweeting it. Oh, that's the worst fault. thing ever. You also, attention seeker. Also, <laughs> the odds are higher that you even if you did speak up, people would have went, eh. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. Stupid bitch. Yeah.